In this game it's not the dumb thing to restrain your emotions, so if you don't like your opponent you can safely put your fists into action. As you know, cowards do not play hockey. But those daredevils who still dare often lose their teeth, because the speed of the puck's flight often exceeds 100 km an hour. In the Generation UA program, Ukrainian hockey players will tell us about a rather tough but very entertaining sport. For me, hockey is life. Hockey is, in general terms, the fastest game in the world, which includes actual elements of virtually all sports. Athletics, basketball, football, game strategy. This is boxing and wrestling too. Hockey appeared a long time ago, it is more than a hundred years old, and originated in England where it was first played on lakes. The game eventually acquired a system, and so they had to come up with rules. Canadians are regarded as the founders. It developed when Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union, and there were two good teams, the Sokil or Falcon Hockey Club, which was very good, and there was the Dynamo Kharkiv team, a very good school, which played in the top league and which produced a lot of pupils for hockey. The first and most necessary thing that a hockey player puts on is a jock. Pants are equally important. As they protect the buttocks. And of course the skates. I already have my outfit on. I've put on my shoulder pads, elbow pads, wristplate, my helmet, gloves, and take my hockey stick. So now it's time to hit the ice. Lately, if truth be told, there are some developments. Advertising, television, viewing figures are up, and in future it would be good to get closer to football in terms of importance. Children's hockey is very developed. There are a lot of teams, 115 teams. And we basically have all the youngsters. And we have the under 18 and under 20 national teams. We have the national youth team. We have loads of people who want to get into the national team. And lots of youngsters who want to join an adult, professional team. I have been playing since the age of seven. I've had played hockey for 15 years. Coaches would just come to school, there was a hockey kit. I liked it and things just progressed from there, the first time on the ice. This is a man's sport. Character is born here. Anger, you cannot surrender anything here. You can show your strength, will, character. And it's to my liking. And so I give myself completely to this sport. I think the main element in hockey is without a doubt speed. It's the most important thing in hockey. But there can be no hockey without using your head.
I started playing hockey at the age of six. I first saw the sport at the ice rink. I really enjoyed it. And so I decided to give it a try. I love getting high on the emotions you get from hockey. Everything is new, every single day, and everything changes. I am motivated by my goal, which I set for myself. I think that we need to develop with every day that passes to get better. That's the main task. How did I start? First, my father brought me to an ice rink. I spent a long time trying to learn how to skate. My dad brought me to the hockey section at the age of six, to the guys, two years older than me. And we began to train, to see ourselves in hockey, to choose a role. I've been playing this sport for so long, because I've already given it many years. The most important thing is the fight, as all the guys say. It's a man's sport. You have to show your character here. First and foremost, hockey is character. Hockey builds character. There's no other option, because this is the most rigorous and fastest sport. Foreign bodies, which the ice rink, skates, stick, puck, gloves, in which the player plays, lots of foreign bodies, which a high-quality athlete must master. How is character expressed? It is in finding the motivation to play every day and to be the best, achieve your goal. What is my role? I'm the captain of the team. My task is to set up the team for the game, for training. I'm like the leader of this team. Everyone follows me. I basically tell everything to everyone. I myself am the center forward. I've never played as a defenseman. I've been an attacker since childhood, and that's just how it has all turned out. I play on defense by helping out my defensemen. That is the role of a center, though also on the defense, in short, a universal fighter. When they were choosing a row, the coach looked closely, looked and looked, and saw that I move very little, I'm lazy. And he says, he'll be a good defender, because all lazy people know how to choose the best position. And I've been playing defense for 15 to 16 years now. Now and then, I can score, just like an attacker. I want to achieve as much as possible, get into the big leagues, play internationally, make it into the national junior team, national youth team, and the national team. I started in hockey, I was a player, I learned to skate and then I had a strong desire to get to play in goal, and I really liked it. Playing as the goaltender is a very big task, as he helps out the team. A great deal depends on him incredible emotions. When you stand in the front of the net and the puck comes flying at you, you have to do everything to catch it. My ammunition really is different from that of the field players. It's really harder. But with as the years pass, you get used to it and don't feel it. There are not that many clubs in Ukraine today. There are currently six clubs that play in the Ukrainian Hockey League's championship. Clubs join it, some drop out, but 
I think that there are four systematic clubs that have their own training school for hockey players, where qualified trainers work. These are the Donbass Hockey Club, Billy Bars Hockey Club, the Kremenchuk Hockey Club, and the Dynamo Kharkiv Hockey Club. The hardest job in hockey is carrying around the duffel bag for training. Another hard task is probably learning how to skate. Although, as far as I recall, I did not have any major problems with this. I am missing three teeth, and I lost three more teeth in various ways. I lost the first thanks to a puck that came my way. <laughs> The second I lost in the hospital, as it was impossible to save it. And the third tooth I lost in a fight. There were physical difficulties. I was torn between school and sports, but I somehow began getting used to it. I understood. I needed this. In actual fact, it's very hard. Training every day at 9 a.m., it's tough. But we cope. Sometimes there were moments when I wanted to quit everything. But I overcome myself. I knew what I was going for, what I wanted. And it inspired me. I played my first ever game at the age of seven. We won back then. I was thrilled. And I was glad that the guys they helped me on defense. I also caught a lot of pucks. Probably for me the most difficult thing was lacing up my skates. Nobody knew how to do this at the age of five. So my mom or dad had to come every time and lace up my skates. And in terms of hockey, most likely the hardest thing was shooting the puck, because there were no new hockey sticks made of plastic. Back in those days, there were only wooden ones, and they were very heavy. Raising the puck off the ice was the ultimate height of skill. The Ukrainian Hockey League was created three years ago. All the members of the league were recruited on equal rights. Forty games are held in the championship, which starts in the first days of September and continues until the middle of March. This is the first part of the championship, and the second part of the championship are the playoff games, where the champion of Ukraine is decided. In terms of professional hockey, the first games that I played were for our junior team. I was 17 back then, and it was very exciting. Because you are representing your own country. The impressions from the games are very good. Because the game is really quite different from training. You come out on the ice with completely different emotions and get other impressions when you are in front of the fans. It's very pleasant when they come to watch you play. You get a charge and adrenaline surge from their positive mood.